Hi, this is Darby at Thimbleberry Studios, and I'd like to share my printmaking process with you, and along the way, some tips and resources that you might find useful. When it's time to make a new print, the first thing I need to do is choose my subject. In order to do that, I usually go looking in my most recent sketchbooks, because that's where I'm going to find what I'm interested in these days and what I want to explore. I've filled quite a few sketchbooks since I started sketchbooking every day in September 2018. That's when I found this great class at Sketchbook School called How to Draw Without Talent. Really helpful, basic sort of confidence building class taught by Danny Gregory. I can't say enough good things about the class. Check it out if you're looking for something like that. I started filling sketchbooks. These are some of my earliest ones. I took more classes at other schools like Creative Bug, which also has a ton of great teachers and great classes. One of the teachers I really enjoyed taking classes from was Lisa Congdon, who now has her own school, the Knack School. Lisa is just a fantastic teacher, as well as a wonderful human being. So look her up. If you haven't heard of her, I'd be surprised. I've taken more classes at other places. One of my most recent classes was Confident Composition by Sally Hurst, another wonderful teacher. And if you've been looking, you may have realized also, it's hard to find a class on composition Sally's got a great one here. Here is my most recent sketchbook. I wanted to just show you what I've been doing most recently. As you can see, I've been using a lot of Posca paint pens. I uh, love them. They're so colorful and bold. In this sketchbook, you'll see that I've got some finished pieces, some more abstract pieces. It's a little bit unusual for me, this sketchbook, because I've been jumping back and forth in it, just sort of opening up a page anywhere and drawing. Sometimes it's exactly what's in front of me. Sometimes it's things that I uh, am sort of reading about or seeing in my yard or, you know, it, it, it really varies. It's kind of fun to look back at these and see what I've been working on. Um, you can tell I've been really interested in animals lately, drawing lots of them. As you can see, sometimes I finish the spread, some spreads are very odd. And then here's my one that I wanted to focus on, which is the tufted puffin, because that's what I'm going to do my nest print on. Here I've just sort of been playing with what their beak is like. Um, but yeah, looking at this, I realized I really was interested in tufted puffins. So in my next video, I'll talk to you about the next step in getting ready to make the tufted puffin print.